What's up everyone? Welcome to the Mini Vlog where we talk about what it's like to live with minis or one or two or three. And today we're gonna to talk about the rear view camera and the warning message that comes up with it. So let's do it. So like last week, we're gonna do some coding with the Beamer Code app again. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Now I was gonna do um, folding in the mirrors when you lock the car. It was something that I did on the JCW and I'm sorry, I forgot to shoot a video on it a couple of years ago and it was one of my favorite things to do. You lock the car, the power fold mirrors fold up. You unlock the car, they unfold. Um, unfortunately, not possible on the GP3. It doesn't have that capability. Um, so we can't do that on this one. I'm really sorry about that. I can't show you that how to do that. Um, hopefully you forgive me. You can show me you forgive me by going to theminivlog.com slash store and checking out one of these cool shirts. I got all the flavors of the F56 models and uh, there's other models coming soon. So go check those out. But anyway, since we can't do the mirror fold trick when you lock and unlock the car, we're gonna do uh, another thing. We're gonna remove the warning message that shows up on the backup camera when you put it in reverse. Now, not all models will have backup cameras and not all models that have backup cameras will even have this warning message. Um, it's probably a US and North America based thing, but if you have it, I'm gonna show you how to turn that off when you put the car in reverse. We don't need to see that warning message anymore. So let's go ahead and get in the car and start with the Beamer Code app. Okay. First things first, we're gonna put in our OBD2 adapter into the port down here below. All right, that's in. Now we're going to take our phone and we're going to launch Beamer Code and we're gonna click connect. And it's gonna to connect to that adapter. So now we're gonna to go to the head unit. Okay, in the head unit, we're now gonna scroll down to almost the bottom and we see the warning section. We have the camera warning, so we're gonna click on the camera warning, it says unassigned value right now. We're gonna set that to not active. Tap okay, tap code, start coding. Send that code to the car. And when it's done, restarts the ECU and we'll try it out and see if we get that warning message. Okay, it's so restarting our ECU. And so now we're gonna test it out. We're gonna turn the car on, put it in reverse and see if that little message shows up at the top. So let's go ahead and do that. Start the car. And let's put it in reverse. And look at that, rear view camera. There used to be a message right there. There's no longer a warning message right there. So yeah, we did it, success. Another successful coding using the Beamer Code app. Pretty cool. So that's gonna be it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna see more stuff about my life with minis, you can follow me on Instagram at the mini vlog. And uh, you can also check out these cool t-shirt designs we have on the store at theminivlog.com store. And most importantly, when you see other minis out there, don't forget to wave. All right, I'll catch you in the next one.